Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 28th day of March, be Monday, and we fall off Lent. Year A. Today the church celebrates the solemnity of St. Joseph, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our readings will be coming from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 4 to 5. Verse 12 to 14 and verse 16. And response to Psalm will come from Psalm 89, verse 7a. A second reading will come from St. Paul letter to the Romans, chapter 4, verse 13, verse 16 to 18, and verse 22. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel, chapter 1, verse 16, verse 18 to 21, and verse 24a. The theme of our message today is living in hope. Living in hope. The hope cannot deceive. When you are living in hope, you can never despair. You can give up. And hope is based on promise made to us. When you have faith in the promise made to you, you have a hope. That's how hope is built. And now I will have hope. I will be in New Nigeria. Now we were not despairing. And the new Nigeria is possible. The old we go, the new we come. And now why today you can see the essence of hope, promise of God. That's why it begins from the gospel message today. You can see Jacob was the father of Joseph, who was the spouse of Blessed Virgin Mary. Before they came to live together, you were discovered that Mary was pregnant. And Joseph, being a just man, don't want to disgrace her, wanted to send her away quietly home. But in, as he was contemplating that, what happened? The angel of God came to her, him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, you get it? Son of David. You see the promise? Son of David. Remember the promise made to David? We shall come to that. He says, son of David, took Mary, your, daughter, your wife, home. He's conceived by the Holy Spirit. I will be a son. We'll call his name Jesus. What told him in a dream, or was a promise made to him in a dream, was a command given to him by in a dream. And he believed it. And that's why he acted accordingly in the morning, according to the command. Took Mary back to the wife, home as his wife. Yes, he hoped on the promise, and he believed. He have not seen the child, but he believed that the child to be born is Jesus, and he be, will be through the house of David forever. And that's why you see how his hope never disappointed him. And that's why today you can see how it happened equally on hope. <clears throat> How the word of God came to prophet Nathan to David. Say, go and tell that David. When you are live full of your life and gone to your fathers, I will establish my throne in your family through your own offspring. Who built me a house? My name. I will be his God. He will be my, shall be my son. I will establish his throne forever. The throne will be in your house forever. It's a show in my presence. And David, that's the hope given to David. And David believed that, even though he's not living to see it. But he hoped on that. And now why today, Paul was trying to make us to understand the extent of this hope again with Abraham. They promised to Abraham and his descendants that they should inherit the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. Yes, the promise came through the righteousness of faith. The faith is that promise. This is why all depends on faith. In order that the promise may rest on grace and guarantee to all 
is his descendants. Not this one, come and finish, no. He had to depend on grace and guarantee to all the descendants of Abraham, including me and you, not only to adherents of law, but those who share the same faith with Abraham. For he is the father of us all. As it's written, as it is written, I made you the father of many nations. In the presence of the God in whom you, you believe, in whom he, he believed, who give life to the dead and call into existence things that doesn't exist. You see, that's the God that you made the promise to you, who call bring life to the dead and call into existence for that doesn't exist. That's why the hope, the promise is more sure. In hope, he believed against hope. Abraham believed in hope against hope. I will be the father of nations, that children will be like the stars of heaven when he has no child even. So shall your descendants be. That is why his faith was writ, recorded with his righteousness. Yes. That faith he had in God, the promise made to him by God, he remained steadfast on it, never doubted it. In face of not seemingly that is coming, but he believes he will come. The man who made the promise is capable. He brings life to dead people, bring it to exist and what doesn't exist. That's the God who made that promise. He cannot fail you. Do you see the promise? Do you see the promise made to David being fulfilled now in Joseph? And the house will be forever. And that was just learning forever. His throne is forever. The house of David. And that's why the psalmist who understood it so well today say, his descendants shall continue forever. His descendants will shall continue forever. Descendant of David and that of Abraham will continue forever. You see it. And now why today we celebrate Saint Joseph, the man of hope, who lived in hope, and the hope did not fear him. And I was celebrating today. He came from the house of David. And they married his wife, Mary, who became the mother of Jesus. And Jesus is the king forever. He will rule over the house of David forever. And you can see it happening, fulfilling today. Living in hope. The hope will never disappoint us. When you are not living in hope, you will despair. Because we are living in hope in Nigeria. That way we are not despairing in the face of a naked, abominable act. Yes, we are not despairing. We know darkness can never overtake light, for sure. That's the promise made to us oh by God. The gate of hell cannot prevail against the earth for hope. And that hope cannot disappoint us. We will recover our mandate. Darkness can no more lose this country. We have the light of life. May God help us understand today that we live in hope depends on the promise of God and the faith we have in that promise. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate Saint Joseph, the spouse of Blessed Virgin Mary, who lived in hope. And by the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Amen.